In this next movie, we're going to talk about the section expert. In Crystal, sections mean any part of these reports here. Notice report header is a section, page header is a section, group header 1 is a section, etc., etc. Now this is actually a pretty simple tool. Right click on basically any section. For our purposes, let's right click on group header 1. That's the office division. And choose section expert. This brings up our section expert window. Now you don't have to do this one at a time. You can do it from here. You can choose any section on your report that you've created to work with. Go ahead and click on group header 1 if it's not already highlighted. Here are your common options that you can use. You can hide, drill down, OK. What that means is you can hide it until someone clicks on that nice drill down menu on the preview tab, and you can still see the detail. You can suppress with no drill down, meaning it won't show up as an option to drill down into in your preview window. You can print it at the bottom of the page, print it new page before, print a new page after the section, reset the page number after, keep together, suppress blank section, or underlay following sections. These you're going to have to kind of play around with. Most of them you'll never use. However, it all kind of depends on the format you want of your report. Obviously, a report destined for export and further analysis, these options aren't so handy. But a report that you actually print up or make an electronic copy as a PDF, this helps determine what people see and what pages they see them on. Also, what information they can see at all. Also, if you have a blank section, as opposed to printing a blank section, you can simply suppress it and go to the next section that actually has data to report on. From here, you can also choose the color of the section. For example, let's say I needed a background color. The default is silver, and we'll leave it there for now. This little box here, the X plus 2 with a pencil underneath, that's for a special formula, but we'll get into those later. Go ahead and press OK. Notice, now my group header 1 now has this kind of grayish silver color to it. And if I click on Preview, that creates this gray box throughout this section. This comes in handy when you're trying to design your report to make it easy on the eyes and show natural breaks in the data or natural totals. Go back to your design tab. Let's talk about those drill down options now. Using our report 2, go to the detail section. Go to section expert. Notice now the detail is now highlighted and it says hide drill down OK, suppress no drill down, and keep together. Also in the detail section you have Another option is called Format with Multiple Columns, which allows you to format certain pieces of data into column format as opposed to the straight left to right format. You can also choose colors the same as before. But in this case, let's go ahead and press OK and go to our preview. And let's go ahead and uncollapse East, uncollapse 2008. And notice when I right click on my Charlotte, I can choose Drill Down. Now, because I've chosen to suppress no drill down, I don't get the detail. Let's go ahead and close that Charlotte tab and go back to our design and right click on our detail section. Go back to our section expert and take off the suppress no drill down function and press OK. Go ahead and click on our preview tab. Go ahead and right click on the Charlotte in our little drill down menu and click on the drill down. Notice how it's different from before. Now I actually see the detail, not necessarily on the main report in the preview section, but if I choose to by using the drill down. Crystal as a tool can help you find data that you're looking for very, very easily. But at the same time, you don't need a report that's 500 pages long with all the data. Sometimes it helps to look at the roll-up and then investigate where you have problems. It's just a matter of philosophy or style. Go ahead and close out. Go back to our design view. Right-click on Office Division A and Section Expert again. Let's click on New Page After and press OK. Click on the Preview tab and observe what happens. After each group header 1, I told it to insert a brand new blank page. So it says East, then blank, and then it picks up again. And then after West, I get the same rest of the blank page. You'll have to play around with these options to see which format works best for you. Crystal gives you plenty, in some cases too much. But when you're designing a report, you kind of have to use common sense on what's a natural break. Usually, a natural break at the beginning is not as desirable as a natural break at the end. A page between divisions, for example.